Welcome. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die. Day number three, high noon. Things have gotten crazy. <laughs> As you can see here, I have completely redone my little room. So there's a couple of reasons for that. One, I, I had the realization that unless I find something super amazing, relatively close to me, I'm not going to probably be able to find a place and fortify it before the first blood moon. Probably not. And it looks like there's water that's surrounding me on this side as well. So I have no idea. I mean, this map is huge. So I've got to get... What? What? Oh my god. <laughs> this. Yeah, this map is absolutely enormous. So I'm going to have to figure out... How far down does this go? I didn't even realize they went down this far. My god. Yeah, this thing is huge. So what I need to do is I need to just pretty much hold my own for the first blood moon. So what I ended up doing, this is the exist this was the existing wall. It went just straight like this, I think. And then yeah, pretty much all I've done is I've come in here and I have I have expanded this wall out. This used to be a walkway. This right here was a box. And then I removed the box once, and it was a refrigerator. I removed the box again in the second episode, and it was... I don't think there was anything there. Or was it the same refrigerator? I don't even remember. I removed it again today, and it's this uh, cement mixer. So that's really cool. I mean, now I've got a cement mixer. I, I don't really need one right now because I don't plan on making this my, my actual official home, but that's okay. I went ahead and, and made these little arrow slit things, so that's cool. I don't even know if I can really... Nah, nah, nah. I can't really see out of them. Uh, the, I, I thought that it was going to work better than what it has, but yeah, not really. I put a door here, so that's always a good thing. I fortified all of this down here. Not too much. I still have a whole bunch of stuff stockpiled in these uh in these cabinets for now but i do want to move this upstairs just in case like zombies come in here and i have this huge epic fight i don't want to lose everything i'd rather have it upstairs because the likelihood of them completely demolishing everything i think is slim i hope is slim i don't even really know but that's beside the point so i need to probably get some metal because i've upgraded this all the way that i can Wait, oh, nope, didn't want to do that. Yep, see, no, it's it's iron, I guess. I'm missing some iron, which I technically have, but I don't know. I don't want to use it all just yet. We've got, oh my God, it's been 39 minutes since I started. Oh, that's insane. Uh, what I want to do, I, I put these little slanted wooden frames in here just to provide some light because if there's light in here, I don't, I'm pretty sure they don't spawn in. Plus they're the item frames and they won't be able to see me. But I've got this nice little thing. There's no staircase, so it's going to be a little bit harder for them to get up. Worst case scenario, this is my escape plan. Or during the blood moon or whatever. If if they do start coming after me, I can go out here and I should be okay. Because they'll start to come in downstairs. But if I have to run away, I definitely can do that. So these are the catwalks. This one right here is just the normal catwalk. It doesn't require a whole lot of wood. But it's not nearly as cheap as the original stuff i'm thinking about just wrapping this all the way around the building now these other ones over here with the handrails these are way more expensive they're like 136 wood per stupid handrail thing <laughs> it's insane so i was thinking about maybe doing like a combination of the two all the way through here but i i don't really know i ended up going over to where that big tree is over yonder over there where the crosshair is I chopped that thing down. had like 900 durability. That's been pretty good. I'm a little concerned, though, that I might fall off. Okay, I don't slide. That's good. That's actually really, really good. I should probably do like a corner piece and then have a staircase just in case I get stuck down here. Probably. Or I could do something like that. Oh, that works. Can I jump across this relatively safely? Yeah, I'm close enough. That, that should be fine. So I need to gather some more wood. I need to keep adding this catwalk around. I'll probably dismantle these. I don't even really know. Honestly, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we've got a long series ahead of us, so I'm sure we're going to be using these later on. Home sweet home. Found a couple cool things. One, I found like 12 big trees right over the ridge where the other tree was. I was worried there wasn't going to be any over there. Chased a zombie. Wanted to go ahead and kind of clear the area out. Yeah. 
really, really helpful. Ton of trees. Got 640 wood for that. As, as soon as I keep using my skill points and stuff like that, it's really going to help out with uh, how much I'm able to gather and uh, what level the stone axe is from what I remember. Things like that. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make things a little bit better. Let's see here. What else did I find? Oh, yeah. A car on the way back actually had a level 54 mining helmet in it, baby. This thing is super, super handy. Base price is 1200 It's 15% waterproof. Repair it with forged iron, which I couldn't even do if I wanted to right now. The coolest thing about this is that when I actually start digging or at nighttime, if I really, really need to see, it's got a flashlight on top. It's going to be extremely helpful in order to do that. So yeah, I need to make some more arrows. I need to make, oh, I should probably make those arrows now. Let's see, how many can I make? 171, let's cut that. Mm, you know what? I'm going to do something different. I'm going to go ahead and make the catwalk, which is under the building supply stuff. Let's see here, wood catwalk. It takes eight wood per 80 is way too much. Let's try 20. Catwalk's complete. And I've got a couple of hours before the zombies or before nighttime. I haven't really seen any zombies. There was another horde that passed earlier on in the day. I forgot to mention that. They didn't bother me. I just crouched in my room and I was good to go. It was actually when I was building the expansion of the room. So, I mean, this this is going to work. It's going to provide me an extra little escape route. Worst case scenario, I can also fight some zombies off up here. I feel relatively safe. Now, that's all good and fine until the zombies actually show up on the first blood moon. Have I survived blood moons before? Yes. Have I done it by myself? Eh, Hmm. Yeah, ish. <laughs> Once I hid in a hole, that was that was fun, and I discovered they were digging. And by the time it was daylight, they they just were about to me, so I was able to escape. Anyways, that's beside the point. We're gonna have a whole lot of fun doing this, and like I said before, this is not going to be my final resting place. Well, it might be for now, but I've got a bedroll, so I'll be fine. <laughs> Either way, we're we're good with that. So, I want to go ahead and start moving some more of these storage chests up here. I still haven't found any animal fat in order to make tallow, in order to make these torches, which I really, really, really need. I've seen one extra buzzard, but as far as wildlife goes, this is the desert. It's pretty barren, besides those, uh, besides those rats, which I think, you know what, if I'm thinking about it, tallow. Wait, oh, here we go. It's made in here, animal fat. Yeah, the, the snake definitely didn't give me any. So I'm, I'm a little concerned about that, but we'll, we'll be okay. I do have the miner's helmet just in case. Oh my God, I can put these on the wall? Are you serious right now? That's amazing. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's super, super cool. Can I stack them on top of each other? Oh, um, that's not really what I wanted, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's art. It's decor. <laughs> yeah. That, that'll be fine, I guess. Uh, I, I really wasn't planning on doing all that, but I don't want to pick them up. Can I pick them up? I really don't think I can. Yeah, no. I'd have to destroy it. I don't want to do that. It's fine. Can I actually upgrade these? No, I can't. I didn't think I could. I, I thought that since that was a craftable, that that's all I could do with it, which is pretty accurate. So my water is running down so, so quickly, and I don't really know why. I mean, it's in the desert. Let's take a look at my character. I'm wearing a plant fiber hat. I made that as part of one of the little extra mission things on the side. I got tired of looking at it, so I said, eh, let's go ahead and make it. So this thing is supposed to decrease my temperature by 10, which, yeah, it is. The bandana does, doesn't do any of a difference between that. Let's see here. The white t-shirt decreases it by 5. The plant fiber gloves actually increases it by 2. So I really should take these off. Yeah, I'm about 100 degrees. I mean, it's the middle of the day in the desert. It makes sense. This increases. Okay, that's probably what it is. I should take those two things off, and I shouldn't be overheating anymore, which is good. Which is, that, that's better than what it was before. I can eat some of these eggs. I can put some of those in there. Yeah, th this is this is working out relatively quickly. Oh, wow. I don't think I needed that many boxes. <laughs> it's a good thing they're relatively cheap to make. My God. That's insane. I should probably... Nah, I'll be okay with that. Let's uh, let's split the stack of feathers. We need to make some more arrows. I've got some seeds here. And this is the next thing I, that I want to do. I want to go ahead and test out this little bit of a garden. Now, it's getting relatively close to a blood moon, but I've got a couple days. So I'm not going to spend too much time and energy into this. I've got some seeds over here as well. Let's see here. 
No, it's not in this one. I think it's right here. Yep, I've got some potato seeds. I've got some blueberry seeds, some corn seeds, some aloe seeds, and some yucca seeds. Now, actually, I'm going to go ahead and put the potatoes there, the corn back over there, the aloe vera seeds we're going to use. We're going to use the maple seeds, which I'm pretty sure are tree seeds, right? Plant these seeds in dirt to grow a tree. They may grow in the desert, but prefer more fertile ground. Okay. The blueberry seeds, we're going to do the same with that. So we're going to test out the aloe seeds, which we obviously know grow in the desert, and the yucca seeds. And I have this iron garden hoe that I found off one of those ladies. So I guess what we could do, uh, let's, let's move a little bit away from the base just in case. I mean, a roaming herd has come this way. And it's also come on the other side of the house, so I guess right here, maybe? How does this work? Oh. I just right-clicked it, and it... Huh. It's giving me sand. Oh, crap. That's that's not what I wanted to do. Um, how do I... I guess I don't have to hoe the land. Do I just... Oh. <laughs> that would actually make more sense. We'll just plant it like this we'll do like uh we'll do six the aloe and i'll probably get some wood fences wood fences and put it up around this so i don't accidentally mess it up huh interesting the yucca plants we'll put like here and there and here i don't know how far they have to actually be from each other we'll test some more out like over here i guess We'll just space these out and see which ones actually grow. Be a nice little test. I have no idea how long it takes for these things to actually do anything. Do I? No, there's no, there's no watering. I've, I've seen this done once before, but I've never actually done it myself. So that'll be, <laughs> this should be interesting to see. Yeah, this should be really, really interesting. I guess I could go ahead and make some wood fences. Right? Wood farm fence. Fence and railings can keep the neighbors out unless they have turned into zombies. Still useful for not falling from high places. Okay. There's a white picket fence. We could do this. Which one's least expensive? Well, that's the same. That's also the same. Um, I'm thinking the white picket just, you know, because. And we'll just make like 20. What do these things actually look like? Well, okay then. Um, where, <laughs> where did I have this? Let's rotate you like that. We'll start placing you down. Oh, that's not where I wanted you. Eh, that, 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 that's okay. Did these only come in? Oh, I don't know why that wasn't stacking. Why was that not? Hmm, weird. All right, we'll just, uh, do it like this. Okay, fence is done. That I still need to probably fill this in, but it should be okay, right? I think, maybe, hopefully, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I've, I've got this whole hill, I, this hole here I should probably fill in. It's getting relatively close to nighttime. We'll see how, how well these actually hold up on their own. I mean, we've got some aloe plants here, lost a couple, rest in peace. Sorry, aloe plants, I didn't mean to accidentally place a fence piece on top of you. And I didn't realize that it was actually going to make you disappear, so there's always that fun bit of joy i should probably go ahead and remove that one and then this one as well yeah that should be good we'll fill that hole in we should probably we could i guess put like a spike there or something get rid of these so i know exactly where these plants are i can see them a little bit better there's the aloe plants there's a whole bunch of other stuff and it looks like i'm super super hungry let's eat one of these we've got the old ham sandwiches which might give us dysentery cool thing is we've got the goldenrod tea in case that that actually happens. Is there something I can do with uh, this crushed sand? My God, what are the recipes for this? Gravel, gravel, sand, sand, asphalt, stone, concrete mix. That should be a song. No, not really. That's a terrible song. Why? What? See, I'm not musically inclined at all. <laughs> okay, well, you know, it's, it's, it's coming along. I didn't finish the catwalk all the way around up there just because I felt like it was a little bit redundant. Because, well, worst case scenario, I'll just hop off the roof, like right here. That's not going to be that big of a deal. I should probably make some kind of a landing platform or maybe like a... Mm, see, I don't know how well zombies climb and stuff. I haven't tested any of that kind of stuff out before. Oh, yikes. And it's it's getting relatively close to nighttime. My food is uh, 
yeah, my, my food situation's getting kind of dreary a little bit. We've got a can of salmon that I found. That should be good. Hydration goes down by five. We've got 10 more bottled water. I really need to get some more water going. I've got 14 more jars, so that shouldn't be too bad. But it's like I'm going through probably five bottled waters in a day. Well, no, probably closer to 10. Ah, uh, yikes. I got to find a better hydration situation. Let's check out these skill points while it's uh, getting close to nighttime. And I need to go check out a couple of those houses as well. 60 points available. Heck yeah, that's a ton of freaking points. Now, my archery level is 8. My athletics is 12. My health is uh, is 1 of 5. Raise your minimum and maximum wellness every rank of this perk. Let's go ahead and bump that up. So I've got 2. The archery I'm getting pretty much on my own. I need to really do better tools or better, I guess gathering maybe a level 20 of 100 for construction tools do more damage and harvest faster with construction tools including the stone axe wrench hammer and nail gun gain skill by using them from this group i should probably pump five points into that still got 45 points that'll be a little bit more helpful we'll test that out and see what is this the workbench unlocks the workbench recipe i need tool smithing level two to unlock that i feel like i should do that hmm Secret stash. By increasing this perk, traders will show you more and better items. I haven't even gotten to that point yet, so that's not something I'm super concerned with right now. There's concrete mixing. Unlocks the ability to make cement. To make concrete, you also need a cement mixer. Well, good thing is I have one right there. Okay. Sexual Tyrannosaurus. I should probably put that into there. Stamina gain is now even faster, which is really, really good. This right here... Why go out do it yourself? Why go out and risk your life scavenging when you can build your own parts? Science level 5, construction tools 30. Ay, ay, ay. That's insane. Let's see, what else do we have here? We've got scavenging, we've shotguns, outlaw, handgun, mining tools. Here we go. Do more damage with mining tools and harvest resources faster. Gain skill by using items from this group. Let's bump five points into that. Machete crafting? Learn to forge a machete blade, which then can be used to craft machete at the workbench. Okay, well, I need to probably do the workbench before I do that. Treasure hunter, what is this one? Arg, mateys, improve the compass treasure tracking. No, we don't want to do that right now. Boomstick. Your aim may be so-so, but you do more damage with every rank. Now, whoa, get off my screen. <laughs> Stupid windows. Okay, let's see here. Entity damage, 5.6%, only for shotguns, I'm assuming. Nah, I don't really want to do that. Let's go back to the construction tools. That is level 25. We bump that up. I probably need to go to... Clothing and armor could use some more. Receive less damage while wearing clothing or armor. Gain skill by taking damage while wearing items from this group. Hmm. Let's bump up five more points. Like that. We've got the knife. He's a real knife guy, do more damage with blades, and keep stabbing for longer with each rank. I'll bump that up to one of five bladed weapons. No, tool smithing. Here we go. Craft handheld and motorized tools faster and at better quality. Decrease repair penalties and get more from repair kits. Buy levels from this perk to increase your skill from crew to novice, apprentice, journeyman, professional, and master level. Wow, that was a, that was a mouthful. Craft anything from miscellaneous crafting group faster. Buy levels of this perk to increase your skill, blah, blah, blah. Okay, what's the miscellaneous crafting thing? Quick crafter, the fixer, reduces repair time, how much repair materials are used, the amount of durability loss with each rank. Hmm. I don't really know which one I should do next. This is, uh, this is proving to be a little bit more difficult. I guess I should probably do health and fitness, crafting, science, painting. <laughs> painting? This skill cannot be purchased with skill points. You have to read magazines to unlock them. Okay, fair enough. Science. Craft medical, chemical, mechanical, and trapped items faster and better quality if applicable. Don't really want to do that one. Let's just go back to the tools. Tool smithing. We'll, uh, we'll buy one of these. We'll buy two of those, actually. We'll do construction tools. We already pumped that one up. Ooh, the workbench. Heck yeah. That's probably what, she, what we should do. We've got four points left now. Toolsmithing level two. Construction tools level 15. We're good on that. Anything else we should go ahead and use? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and pump two points in that. Make that an even 10. The camel. Slow your thirst so you don't have to drink as much. That's 
No! Crap. That's not what I wanted to do. Slowing your metabolism. I need to bump these up. I definitely need to bump these up. But I've only got two points left and I need three. Ugh. Yikes. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll be all right. I think. Now I'm going to wait for daytime and then, hopefully, I'll be able to make it over to the other house on the other side of the hill and then maybe I'll make it over across the water. Might test that stuff out. I don't know. We'll see. Made it over to this house. I might have been making a mistake by doing this so early in the morning, but I heard the noise for the new dawn of the new day or whatever, so I don't think the zombies can run anymore. I'm pretty sure that's what happens after 1 o'clock, but I thought it might be 2 o'clock. I don't know. I haven't seen any, so I haven't had to really worry about them so far. Although that... Oh, there's a buzzard up there. Crap. Well, there's another house. I'm assuming there's bound to be zombies in here. There always is. There has to be. Oh, this, this is actually a nice little location. The only thing I don't like is it's walled off around the back. Unless I've placed a whole bunch of traps or something up there, it's not like the most secure place. <laughs> I gotta, oh no. Oh no. Here we go. Are you coming for me? No, you're not. Oh, thank God. Okay, I gotta, I gotta watch out for that guy. And I gotta worry about, are there any zombies around here in the back? I don't think so. Are there, there's gotta be some. There's one laying down right there. There's probably one behind the refrigerator. This door is locked. There's the buzzard. Let's be undetected for a minute. <laughs> I've yet to actually kill one of these things and oh my god, are they insane. They will kill you in a heartbeat, especially if you don't have safety. So, let's just try this out. I did increase my uh, damage, I guess, for the stone stuff. So, that's good. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can hit this guy in the face. Oh, miss. Definitely not dead. And, okay, so my theory was wrong. They're definitely running. Hit him again. Hit him again. One more time. Okay. Gotta go. Gotta go. Oh, it's the buzzard. This is this is not good. Not good at all. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay, run. Run, 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 run. I missed again. Are you? Oh my gosh. I knew this was a bad idea. Okay, act like you've got brain worms. That's fine. As long as you stay over there, we're good. Miss? How many shots I got left? 50? Okay. Oh, you missed. Haha, -ha, sucker. Oh god, I hit, got hit by a cactus. <laughs> You hit it. Can I hit it again? Okay. Miss. Miss. Ooh. I need a sword. I need like a broad sword. I need something. A flamethrower? Can we have flamethrowers in this game? Well, I mean, I'm kind of glad it's uh, flying around. This thing is impossible to hit, though. I'm surprised I, got, I hit it that one shot. A little bit of a delay. Hit it again. Miss. Come on. Keep doing the same thing. Oh, yes. I killed it. My God, I killed one of these. That is amazing. What am I getting? Raw meat and feathers. I don't think I can make any tower with this, but I gotta be really, really careful. What is this? Rotting flesh? Oh, get off of me. That's gonna attract zombies like nobody's business. How many arrows do I have left? These guys were probably coming outside. What is that, like three or four hits, I think? It could be worse, I guess. Uh, it's past two o'clock, so they shouldn't be running anymore. Yeah, they're not running anymore. Okay. Did they bust through? I think they did. Hit him? Yep, definitely busted. Okay, so much for not running. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm undetected still. That's that's really, really good for me. Oh, 
Holy shit! <laughs> run, 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 run. Okay, see, this is this is bad. This is really bad. I guess it's daytime now? Officially? <laughs> nope. Still not daytime. Huh. Well. Oh god! Okay. Alright, you see me. Can can I move now? Please? Please get off me. Alright, just run. Just run, 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 you're super fast! Get off me! Holy crap. Anything else? We good? Oh, Jesus. Okay, first aid kit. Gotta use it. Wow. Okay, so... <laughs> definitely a little bit more difficult than... And I'm, I'm out of arrows. Let's, let's make uh, 50? Craft? What... Exactly is that noise. It stopped. Which could be a really good thing or a really bad thing. Now hopefully that's all the zombies that were in here. Hopefully. Unless they went back in the house. I don't know why they would. They probably... There's a guy over... There's... One guy over there. Do we see any more? There's probably still some more upstairs. I don't know. There was quite a few of them on the inside though. I don't see any more around the house. Can I see any inside the house? Yep. There's definitely one in the house still. Okay. Any more in here? I'm just going to make a little bit of ruckus. Try not to be surprised again. Yep. Still definitely one up here. Did you bust through the door? I'm hoping. And you're still running. Okay, come on. Come on, you idiot. You half brain, no brain, sucker. Half brain, no brain? What am I even talking about? I got hit. Knock you out. Knock you down. Killed you. Sucker. All for paper, really? That's, that's all I got. I got 31 rounds, though, which is good. And they definitely didn't bust through that door yet. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, aviator goggles. Provide a little face protection to make you look really cool. Well, heck yeah, they do. That's amazing. Now, if only I can get back to the house, that'll be even better. All right, I don't hear any more here. There's some more water. That's a good thing. Do we have any trash over here? Yes, we do. Nothing. Cool. We get some, uh, <gasps> sledgehammer schematic. And I have a workbench. Please tell me this is where I can build it. Workbench? Maybe. I don't even know. I have to make some iron, though. Unless, hmm, it didn't say forged. Wait, hold on. Oh, that's got to be the guys upstairs. Empty cans. What's in the cupboard? Nothing. Empty can. Nothing. All right, there's some more upstairs. Come on, come on, come on. Iron pipe. They're busting through the metal, right? Four cooking pots? Are you serious? That is such an unnerving noise. Cornmeal. Bottle of water. Empty cans. Empty cupboard. Okay, still, we're still good. Last one before we do the upstairs. Here we go. They're not doing a very good job, Bust. That is a really, really strong door. I wonder if that's like forged metal door. And it looks like there's only one here. Well, it's not a blood moon. Oh, it's a construction worker. Okay, let's uh, let's get this out. Probably a mistake. Come here. Oh, it's a hazmat guy. Okay. All right. Can I... Please... Yes! Hazmat worker. Whoa. So I'm assuming these guys have, like, a lot more potential to have some really cool stuff, I guess. That's what that means. We've got some more lead. I'm getting really, really low on my uh, inventory space, though. 
which is not good. Oh, well, I guess it's okay. We've got the gun safe here. Does my wrench do more damage or no? No. Well, yes. It goes down by seven. That's still really not that good. Oh, what? Cotton? Cloth fragments? It, 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 my inventory's already full. But I've got some iron out of that. And cloth and fragments. Okay, well, we know where we'd come back to. That is good. Empty nightstand. I've pretty much looted this whole place. Wow, that's crazy. Is there any, like, backpacks I could make? I really don't think there is. Like, to increase my, uh, storage space. No, that's that's all the inventory space I can get, I think. At least for now. I, I might be able to find something else. Ooh, refrigerator. And nothing. Dead gum. Okay, well, I guess I could get some more water and then I could go back to the base because that's been a pretty successful episode. I wonder if my yucca fruit and my aloe seeds have actually, uh, have grown in. Because that would be nice. Any zombies? There's one over there. We should be good. Okay, glass bottles. We'll put you where the springs are. We'll go ahead and put these aviator glasses on because why not, baby? Oh my god, I look amazing. These pantsuits things. Okay, insulation plus two. Really comfortable. Get a little protection against the weather and other damage types to this fine denim apparel. Ooh. <laughs> that looks absolutely amazing. Athletics level 14, baby. Made it back to the house, and they're still not done yet. Uh, I wonder how long it actually takes. It hasn't been that long, if I'm really thinking about it. Plus, I'm in the desert, but, you know, this also is not very fertile dirt. I don't know what constitutes fertile dirt. I don't know. I think there's fertilizer we can make. Fertilizer. Yes, we can. We can make one at the campfire. We can make some at the... Concrete mixer. Riding flesh, nitrate powder, dirt fragment. Okay, but we don't have any dirt. A human turd. That's good. <laughs> huh. I wonder... I wonder if I can make a toilet. Oh, I need to get inside, like, yesterday. Wow, that's that's been productive, guys. I'm, I'm very excited about this. This is, uh... It's coming together a little bit by a little bit. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and call this the end of the episode. One more house raided. About a billion to go. I'm getting a little bit more familiar and more prepared. I now know it's 3 a.m. <laughs> is when they officially stop running. And even then, it's like they still run if it's dark in a house. I guess I don't even really know. The Blood Moon is going to be very, very interesting for me. I've got the farm going. It's not fertile land. I haven't found any toilets. But I'm assuming some of these houses will have some. I mean, the map, let's check out. Okay, so we went this way, basically. We just kind of cut across this ridge and made it over here by the road. I guess that's what it's showing. I guess. I didn't even realize I was that close to that stuff. But maybe I am. Or no, no, no. I went this way. That's right. I went over here to this house. That makes more sense. I gotta get familiar with this map, man. But there's some houses over here. There's some over here. And then the next mission that I need to do is go to a settlement and locate a trader. I have no idea what one of those is gonna be. So as soon as I can get some kind of better transportation or make a long trek and maybe spend the night, I'll probably end up doing that. Well, I've got some time to do it. I just want to make sure that I get back to the house before the blood moon, because if not, that is going to be absolutely horrible <laughs> or I'm going to end up losing everything. I guess I could run around naked the whole blood moon, but th what fun is that? I need to survive and, and grow my, my building and all sorts of other stuff. I don't want to lose everything. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.